This video, I'm going to be dropping a full defensive kind of mini ebook or mini scheme. And this is a version of the dollar defensive ebook. Now, if you guys want to get my full dollar defensive ebook, it's available by becoming a school.com community member. That's only $10, and it gets you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of my NCAA offensive and defensive ebooks completely up to date. You get access to all of that by being a member over there. The sign up link is going to be down below. Now, what I wanted to talk about today is kind of a version of dollar that I don't think gets enough attention. And I think it is the, I think it is actually, you could make an argument it's the best version of it. And it's a little bit different than what you've seen, but I'm going to show you how to adjust out of this and make this a really, really good defense. So what we're going to do in our coaching adjustments is we're going to have our auto flip defensive play call off. Our option defense is going to be on conservative. We're not going to set any zone drops. And we're going to turn our zone coverage on match. From there, uh, as far as like personnel goes, really the only thing that I would encourage you to do is have an inside stuff at defensive tackle. John Randall's a really good defensive tackle for this. Um, or if you're in CFM, just get an inside stuff guy there. It's not the biggest thing, but I think it is helpful. Uh, and then Lurk Artist everywhere else. I find Lurk, I think Lurk Artist is so good. So we're actually going to throw Bo Jackson as our A-gap blitzer. I think he's one of the better ones. We're going to have Micah Parsons with mid-zone KO and Lurk Artist on this left side. On the right side is where this guy is extremely kind of whatever you want to do. Uh, what I end up doing a lot of times is I'll put uh, my Lada here because he gets mid-zone mid -zone KO and Lurk Artist. So if I drop him in his zone, he's going to play really well. And then my, I like to use our Chuck Halley. I'm still rocking a 70 out of 70 Super Bowl theme team, even though it's May, just because I like Chuck Halley a lot. I like Cam Chancellor. I think they're really good players. Slot corners, really, you're just looking for flat zone KO, height. Those are the main things. Uh, just good abilities. Uh, mid zone KO, flat zone KO, deep zone KO, all the KOs. That's what you want. Uh, we're not actually going to play a lot of man-to-man. -man. Uh, we're actually going to play a lot of zone, but we're going to play zone from a man-to-man -man alignment. All of the back four of dollar should have some type of deep zone KO, mid zone KO, and pick artist. Those are the best abilities for them. You don't really need to set any audibles. The one audible that I like to have is cover one robber uh, because we can actually adjust out of cover one robber very well. We're going to have spinner, and then really that's it. If you wanted to, you could go in your coaching adjustments and turn this auto alignment to man, and then you could set kind of some other really good plays such as cover three cloud or cover six if you actually wanted to play legitimate match coverage. Now, the main play that we're going to be calling every single time is going to be spinner, and I'm going to first show you how to use this defense to defend gun bunch, and then we'll cover gun bunch offset. We'll cover bunch tied in. We'll cover trips. We'll cover spread. We'll cover a lot of the main formations that you are probably going to see. Okay? All right. So spinner is, is the play. So as you can see here, this is kind of the, the standard alignment that we're going to get here. Now, if I were to audible to cover one robber, I want you to take a look at this. Notice that it does change where he is on the screen. So what you would need to do is baseline press, and then this guy would actually go back to where you want him. The reason why I want to show cover and robber just real briefly here is because it's the four man, it's the it's the same blitz angle as that four man a gap. So you can actually get a four man a gap with cover and robber press, which is super super underrated. A lot of people don't realize how good that is. Now we're in spinner. Spinner is probably the best way to run the defense, and it's the most symmetrical way to run the defense. If you didn't know this. When you have players blitzing, they will not move in alignment. So, for example, let's say our opponent decides to audible to um, like a spread out formation. Notice the blitzers do kind of move, but the main people, they only move just slightly out. The main people that move are the secondary, the safeties, the guys that are actually in man coverage. So what this allows us to do is it allows us to create really good defenses such as something like, like this right here. I mean, this is a really simple covered shell, and it's really good if you want to put the thirds on the outside. We know that with the match on, these outside thirds are going to press really well 
and you're going to have really good coverage, right? So those are a couple things that we can we can kind of do with defense. Now I'm going to talk about bunch. So how do I like to defend bunch with this? So what I like to do is we're going to press, we're going to pinch our D line, we're going to put our uh, user in any zone that we want, and the only reason we're doing this is for uh, number one, it will help you move just a little bit better in pass coverage. And number two, because I have universal coverage on this guy or mid zone KO or whatever KO you want, he will actually knock the ball out if he's in his zone. Now, what you'll see with this outside third, and this is super important to talk, touch on here, is he will press that streak into the ground. He will really do a good job of taking away the solo receiver. So this is kind of the fundamental adjustment is we're going to put this guy in a third. Now, as you see here, we actually have kind of a cross band set up perfectly fine. What I like to do here is I'm going to man up the slot corner and then I'm going to take this curl or the safety and I'm going to put him in a curl flat and I'm going to shade underneath. And what will happen is this is a really good bunch defense. The kryptonite to bunch has always been man coverage. Man coverage is not the best, or bunch is not the best against man coverage. And so if we can force them to have to block our running back, which they will, you'll see that this shaded down man with that outside third is really, really, really effective. Another way in which we can play this same kind of basic idea would be to man up this right side slot corner I always like to man him up on the slot because he's going to press that slot really well. And then I'll just take my chance and man up the tight end with the safety. Now, the other thing that we get here is we can then take this backside safety, man him up on the running back, and then put an outside third. So the advantage of this coverage is that, that uh, the only thing that's really going to beat this man up on the left is a wheel route, but you have a third. So if they block the running back, one of the things I did want to showcase here is a route combination as you can see if they do block their running back what's going to happen is that that guy on the left will actually go to the solo receiver a lot of the time so you'll be able to kind of get a middle third and a man upon the running back for the price of one another one of my favorite kind of man covered shells for bunch is we're still going to do that shaded down man but what we're going to do is we're going to take the guy the safety on the left and we're going to put him in the purple and then we're going to essentially run the defense like this. So what's my user responsibility here? I'm kind of jetting to the right side of the screen quick. And then other than that, this is going to this is going to cover a lot. And again, we're, we're showing this with a send five. So you're going to get pressure. But as you can see here, I'm going to come over here and kind of handle some of these quick hitting routes and be really effective against that with this with this coverage. So those are some of my favorite base shells uh, against bunch. Another one that I really think is super underrated out of spinner is to play a what I call a roll coverage. This is going to be a either send three or send four coverage where we're going to purple the slot corner on the left. We're going to deep blue the left side or that we're going to third that solo side. We're going to middle third the safety and we're going to deep half this outside corner. Now, as you see here, all really good coverages. The last thing we're going to do, and this is going to do a really good job if they ever want to run double corner or anything like that, we're going to man up that slot corner on the slot receiver. We're going to shade outside, and we're going to put that cloud flat there. So, again, our responsibility is the tight end. Now, if we want to take that tight end away, another way we can do this is that we are going to have to blitz our user and crash our D-line down, but we're just going to man up or cross man the tight end with the blitzing linebacker. So obviously we changed everybody on the on the play, but we kept that same exact look. And if you get quick with your adjustments, it's really helpful uh, for being, you know, for, for doing this. So you see here you got that man up, really nice man up. And uh, that, that cross man will do a really good job against the tight end route. So those are kind of my main coverage defenses that I like to use against Bunch. Another one that I think is super good is to utilize a shaded down yellow from the safety position off a of send five. I've been talking about this for a while, but this is a good coverage shell for Bunch. And the reason why is because that shaded down yellow will stop any running back streak. It'll stop a backside drag. So like if they drag to the backside and they run uh, essentially double corner to the right side, this is going to do a really good job. 
And then what you're going to do as a user is you're going to kind of get over here and muddy up any corner route to the bunch side. So those are some of my favorite coverage defenses for gun bunch. Now I want to show you how to do uh, how to apply these same principles to defending a formation such as bunch strong, which is one of the most popular offenses in the game this year. So the best way to stop bunch strong is to kind of apply a lot of what we just taught out of bunch. So if again, if I were to audible to Cohen Robert, you see how this guy goes over here. But also, please notice that you still have that four man A gap that can come in from that middle linebacker. So just kind of keep that in mind. But as far as, you know, defending bunch strong, there's a lot of ways in which we can do it. Again, I'm a big believer in making every defense look identical. So we're going to pinch our D line, we're going to press, we're going to man up that slot corner onto the slot receiver. You see, it's a lot of similarities to bunch. Now, the biggest thing that I like to do uh, is use that outside third on the back in here, and then I'm going to take anything across uh, of the formation. Anything across the formation, I will take it. So what that basically means here is, is we're just going to take this uh, safety, put him in a purple, and we're going to shade outside and underneath. So anything across the formation – I'm taking, or if the running back goes out on a route. Now, if the running back goes in a route, the only route he's going to be on typically is a streak or an in route. So if they do run Durham, because, we sh because we're shading down, right, we're not going to play terrible man coverage, and we just take the running back. I find this man coverage gives me, and this is what I run. I mean, I find this man coverage gives me a lot of issues. Now, another one of my favorite adjustments for Bunch Strong is to utilize – a kind of an interesting or different variation of a roll coverage technique. So what we're going to do is we're going to outside third on the left side. We're going to middle third on the left side. And then we're going to deep half on the left side or on the right side. And then from there, if you want to send five, there's a, a couple different methods in which we can accomplish this. But if you think through what are the main combos that people are going to run, Oftentimes, they don't really threaten the flat with anyone other than the outside bunch receiver. So what I like to do is drop this right side guy here in a vert hook, which will defend the running back streak. It will defend. There's a lot of things you can get to kind of stop. Uh, if you want to put him in a hard flat, be my guest. If you want to man him up to the slot corner, be my guest. But I find the vert hook to be the most versatile adjustment because what you'll see is this is going to do a really good job of defending the double corner route combo because you are sending pressure, right? And then look at that vert hook. You'll see that if that slot goes to the corner, notice that the vert hook is matching him and then that deep half obviously coming over as well. So really, really good, really, really good defensive mechanism to be able to play some pretty good defense against double corner is with the utilization of the vert hook with no other zone. Now, quick pro tip for this. You cannot put your user in a mid read or a hook curl. You need to put them in a deep blue for the vert hook to match properly. Now, from this cover shell, we can actually accomplish a lot of different things. One of my favorites is to just put a cloud flat there. And then essentially, we're going to play kind of a maximum coverage style defense. Uh, I find this defense is, is very effective. Why is this defense effective? This defense is effective because it forces them basically to check down to the flat and it takes away Durham. It takes away, um, it takes away double corner fairly well. And I'll show that, but you're just going to kind of use that post. Look at that vert hook matching. Again, when you turn your match on and utilize these vertical hooks, I'm not shading the vert hook down. That is a really important point. So this kind of shover, uh, shover, uh, this kind of cover two shell here, I'm not shading any way, shape, or form. Because if you shade, you kind of mess this up. But basically, if we take a look here at Durham, watch the running back. Watch that vert hook. Notice the vert hook matches him, and he actually plays him really well up the seam. The same is also true, which is super important. That's why I like the vert hook. The same is also true if they run double corner. So we'll, we'll uh, spy our user here. But I want you to look here to the right side and notice this vert hook will kind of match 
that R1. Now, right there, for some reason, the vert hook did not match. I'm not 100% sure why that happened, other than I spied my user. That could be it. So let me put the user on a deep blue uh, so we can kind of look at this one more time. But again, oftentimes what happens is this vertical hook is going to do a really good job of matching the corner to the sideline. So we'll see if we can take a look at it again. And you see there, I don't know why he's doing that. I wonder if it has anything to do with the fact that they put the running back out on the route. If they do put the running back out on the route, another thing that you can do is you can man your user up onto the running back. So we'll try that technique just to see. That might be it. So I'm just trying to think of the different reasons why that could potentially occur. And it pretty much almost always is some, there's a route that's interfering with him. Yeah, he's not matching it like he normally would. I'm not sure why he's doing that. Again, if you're anticipating double corner, you can just man up the slot, cor the slot uh, receiver, of course. But, uh, you know, again, just something to kind of tinker with a little bit here. Let's, uh, let's just, for sake of lab work, we're going to block the running back. And we'll probably see that this guy matches. And he does match really well. And then, obviously, you have the deep half coming over top, which you would want that to, to play it. Now, this is where I really like the fact that I can audible around a little bit. So if I audible to the play cover three cloud, you would want to whoops, unman align. So you probably wouldn't want to be on man line, honestly, for this. But this defense is really good for double corner as well. And again, all I would do is just vert hook. This guy on the right side, this is a really good way to defend double corner. The reason why is because the cloud flat will defend the short corner and then the vert hook and the outside third together will do a really good job. As you see, that outside third is never going to give up that deeper corner route. So that's another method that you can kind of use to get the same thing. And let me show you real quick what happens if I turn my alignment back to default for this technique. So... You'll see we'll come out in double corner. If I audible to cover through cloud, they do give a little bit of a tell. Uh, it, there is a little bit of a tell, but it's not, I mean, it's not a bad tell. You know, they'd have to be a pretty advanced player to notice that. But even just something as simple as this, this is, this is a really good coverage defense. The vertical hook is super important because what the vertical hook is going to do is it's going to force them on Durham to hold the ball for just a split second longer. Oftentimes, he'll match him, but even if they have to hold it a second longer, as you can see, that safety kind of comes over and plays it. So these are some of my favorite methods for defending this formation. Another one that's really good that not a lot of people run is uh, this right here. So what I like to do with this is instead of sending the right, the, the outside or the inside slot corner, we're going to send the outside. So the way we do this is we just blitz this outside slot corner. This, out, this is going to help kind of defend the rollout a little bit. And then we're going to create craft a coverage on the back end of this. So what I what I tend to like to do the most if I'm sending heavy pressure and I want to have good coverage is we're just going to take away kind of the easy throws with these coverage adjustments right here. So as you can see, we're going to play cover two to the bunch side. We have hard flats on both sides. I find this to be the easiest method uh, to defend the most amount of things. Another thing that is not terrible is to cross me in the slot with the left side safety. Uh, but basically what will happen is if they try to roll out on you, this will do a really good job of defending that and kind of containing that and creating kind of a five man pressure that is, is very effective. So if you wanna just leave it and just send the slot corner, you can do that as well. And I'll just show you what the blitz looks like here. A lot of times that blitz is gonna come in off the left. But the reason the blitz is important from the right side, even though it's not going to come in a lot on the right side, the reason it's important is because what a lot of people like to do is they roll out. And you'll see here, if I try to roll out on him, he's going he's gonna to take it away. So that's the whole idea of the, of the defense there from the blitzer to defend that. So again, another one of the, this opens up kind of the DB Fire 2 methods where we're, we're just going to play, you know, basically DB Fire 2. This is a decent coverage defense because you can use her, if you think about it, you can use her, the running back, pretty well, and oftentimes the blitz is going to come in, okay? So those are some of my favorite methods for defending bunch and bunch strong, and now we're going to get into trips tied in. 
So the reason that I showed and I am using the package that I showed a little bit about the man alignment and I am using a specific package is really meant for when we play trips tied in or if you're playing someone and they are running the meta, oftentimes they will audible into trips tied in. So the audible into trips is really, I think, harder to defend and what we need to cover more in this little guide. So we're going to cover RPO defense. We're going to cover a couple different things that you can do. So I'm going to have the RPOs, and then I can kind of hot route master everything else. But if they come out in bunch, what they'll probably do is they'll come out in bunch, and then they'll audible to trips. And this is going to mess up alignment, which is why we're kind of going over it here. So if you, if you take a look here, this is kind of our base coverage. Let's say, okay, you know, I've kind of gone about and set up my, my coverage defense for a bunch, but now they audible to trips, which is honestly, it's the most effective way to play this defense. So you have to be prepared for this. So if they do audible to trips tight in, this is what's going to happen. As you can see here, we're going to get a lot of movement from our defenders. And essentially, we're going to get what's, known, what's, a, what's a man alignment. Now, if I audible, I just want to show you what happens. So if I audible to cover three cloud, notice what happens. It changes the alignment. Another thing that you can do out of spinner is you can, and now I'm all jump, jumbled up here. I'll show it to you again. Another, but uh, I'll show, it, show you what, what you can do. So another option you have is they audible to trips right? Immediately baseline press. And you see this is what is going to come in your defense. Now, there are pros and cons to both methods. The advantage to the baseline method is that the best zone in the game for defending tight end corner routes, crossers from trips, anything like that is a deep quarter from this defender right here. The con is you have less resources to defend the trip side of the formation. You have more resources to defend the tight end side and you have less resources to defend the trip side. Now, if you're asking me what I would recommend, I would probably recommend base aligning. And the reason why is because one of the underrated problems of not base aligning that a lot of people don't talk about is what would make the most sense here would be to blitz Revis, man this guy up, but you see, you see how, see how we're, we're not aligned properly now. So we would have to move this guy in, which is not honestly terrible and can be done. And there is value to doing it, but let me show you what it would look like in real time. So again, they would audible to trips, and let me get back in my user and kind of set up my base. So they would audible to trips. You would need to immediately kind of click over here and drag him back inside. Um, that is super, like it, it can be done, but it's kind of clunky, right? It's kind of clunky. But this gives you, in my opinion, this is the best alignment. This is, this is by far what you see right here is the best alignment. So a couple different options. Uh, one is you can audible to zone and baseline press. Another option you have that we haven't even covered yet is you can audible, so they go to trips, you can audible to cover one robber. Now look what cover one robber does. By audible and cover one robber, it brings this safety back. And this puts you in perfect alignment. This is the best alignment for trips. Why? It's the best alignment for trips because we really neutralize that trip side because you see we get these press man ups here. And then the safety stays inside, which is advantageous for a whole other slew of reasons. So to me, this is probably the method. This is probably the best method. Just audible to cover one robber, and then if we talk about a gaps and stuff. See how see how the cover one robber is the same, very similar blitz angle to spinner, very similar blitz angle to free safety zone blitz. The other thing you can do is let's say again they audible to trips. We audible to cover one robber press. We're just going to pinch. Now we're just going to hot blitz these two. And then guess what the – notice the flexibility this is going to give you defensively now. Now we've created a five-man pressure variation, and we're just going to cross me in the tight end with this backside linebacker so it all looks exactly the same. And then now you're able to 
you know, kind of play a coverage defense like this, for example, uh, which is which is pretty good. And now you're sending a lot of pressure. So a couple different variations. You can kind of choose what you want to do. But in my opinion, audibling to cover, if they audible to trips, you audible to cover, and Robert's going to give you the best chance. But if you want to audible to spin, or if you want to stay in spinner, my personal recommendation is probably going to be the baseline. Um, and, and kind of the rule of thumb for trips is you want to cover to the tight end side, and you want to cover four, cover three, the, the other side. So it would look something like, like, uh, like this, for example. This is a pretty good trips D. Uh, on that right side, you just want to make sure that this guy's in a, a cloud. But basically, this would be the idea. And this is a fairly safe cover shell. It's very basic, but it will be really effective, and it can even certainly stop the RPOs. So one of the main reasons that people go to Trips Tight End is to call a cover three bomb or to run an RPO. So that is why one of the things I like to do is make sure they can't call an RPO. So what I find to be the most effective way to shut down the RPOs is certainly audibling to cover one robber. And the reason why I like to audible to cover one robber is because it's going to give me the best alignment to be able to defend this. And the best method is really just to man up and then put a cloud flood over there. This is the easiest way to defend 99.9% .9 of RPOs. And you'll see here, they just have, we just, we just give us a plus one numbers advantage. Now, if we're talking about defending the bubble screen, it's really the same thing. And we're not going to have a ton of problems with the bubble screen because we have the bubble screen manned up. And you see, it's going to guard it. And we, again, we get that four, that four strong to the trips. Another method that I like to use when defending trips, and this is more for the route combination, but I want to first cover this. So a lot of people like to call this play out of PA crossers, right? So if I was going to defend this play, one of the easiest methods to defending this play is, is truly man coverage. But audible to cover one robber, we're going to pinch the D-line. And then we have to take away that tight end corner. So the best way to take away that tight end short corner would be to play a cover two to that right side. This deep half is also going to kind of pinch inward and defend that crosser. And then what we're able to do here on the opposite side is we're going to go with a I mean, you can leave the coverage just like this. You can put a cover three on that side and play it like this. I like this cover shell as well. You can do really whatever you want to do with the running back. If you wanted to uh, cross me and the running back onto the tight end, if you wanted whatever you want to do here. Uh, I like also you can you can certainly cross me in this this linebacker on anybody. But what you'll see is they run this PA crosser play, and we get really nice coverage on it. So super easy way to, to kind of cover that. The next thing that I want to show is verticals because if you don't defend this play, they'll run it literally all game. So again, we're going to audible to cover one robber. And we're going to do a pretty good job against verticals. The only route that's really going to give us any trouble is the crossing route to the right or from left to right. So the way we're going to defend this is back into that cover three on one side, cover two on the other side. Now, for this method what we're going to do is we're going to go with a quarter on that outside corner, a inside quarter on the inside guy, and then you can leave the man coverage if you want, or we can go back to that vert hook and play the defense like what you see on your screen. This is perfectly fine as well. This is a match coverage concept and going to do a really good job against verticals. We'll show you the play. And you see, this just does, this literally bags it. Now, the key here is you have to have your match on. This is why also I'm not using any kind of free safety one inside package or double safety package because I want to be able to put my safeties in those quarters because they're always going to take away the inside trips, the outside trips really, really well. Now, let's keep talking through some things for trips. Another really popular combo is the slant post combo again this cover one robber defense does a really good job against that so if we go back to cover one robber again we're going to quarter we're going to leave you can leave that man up or what i like to do in place of that man up is i love to do purple a, a purple and a vert hook and then on the right side we can play 
basically just a simple cover two. If we want to put this guy in the middle third, we certainly can do that. Uh, I love to just cross me in the tight end. I think that's the most effective way of defending him in this formation. We have a cross man on the tight end. We're basically bracketing the tight end with that cross man and that cloud. Uh, and what you'll see here is all I have to do is kind of sit here to the right side, take the slant. That cross man takes away that tight end pretty well. If there's a KO there, that's going to be just fine. And then the vert hook is going to take away the, the seam streak on verticals. Another really popular trips combo, uh, this is something that I would certainly run, is a street corner flat to the trip side. So this is going to do a really good job of defending that. When we go to that cover Robert, it's the same basic defense here. I'll just cross me in this guy right here. So what you'll see, take a look at that corner, and it takes it away. Now, what you saw there is, is the one risk we have when we use that vert hook, which is why ultimately I do think it is wisest to utilize a... Uh, a man up. So if we go back to cover one robber. So we we leave that that um, number two receiver manned up. We go quarter, quarter, and then now we can go with another variation, which is vert hook. This we're still going to vert hook, but now we're going to drop the linebacker in a purple, and our responsibility is going to be the tight end post. This is probably the safest coverage for trips in the entire game. And we'll defend the street corner flat really well. We just take the tight end. Notice how that matching inside quarter is just absolutely bagging the trips formation. Now, you might be asking, Cody, what do you do if they audible or motion out of trips? I'm glad that you asked. So let's say that they motion out of the trips. This is going to cancel the match principle that we have. So how we handle that? We're really not going to do a lot uh, in terms of complexity here, we're still going to keep that cover two to the right side. On the left side, what we've done is we've created a quarter, an outside quarter, inside quarter. So all we're going to do is we're just going to make those quarters into thirds. So the way we're going to do this is they motion this guy. And we say, oh, they're probably going to do that. So we're going to go quarter or man up, right? And now you have a cross third that can actually run out there and go guard the corner. Another thing, because he followed, that I will suggest. Let me show that real quick. So when you audible, you got to You also have to kind of know like they're gonna follow. So we audible to this. We got to understand all three of those guys on the left side are gonna follow. So because of that, what we would want to do is if they motion the outside guy, which I did not get to. Again, we have quarter, quarter, and then a man up. And then on the right, we play cover two. So let's say they motion this. Um, let's say they motion the outside guy. It's going to take that quarter out of the play. So we have a couple choices. We can either just leave the man ups as, as we want to. Uh, one of my favorite things is to utilize uh, you, when they motion out of trips in a two by two, you can put a vert hook on that side and play cover two on both, or just audible to cover two in general, I want you to watch what this vert hook does. The vert hook, as you see there, is going to match. So if we want to, there's no harm in just checking into a cover two or just creating it with that vertical hook. Again, this is why I really like vertical hooks against trips tight end. I personally don't think you need to blitz trips much, um, but if you want to blitz trips, I find the best method to be to blitz that, that corner there on the left side like so. We're going to play cover two to the right side, and then we're just going to have that inside quarter. So everything to the trip side is going to be taken care of, and then you know all you're really doing here is just taking this right side, and I would just blitz like this. I think it's the best method for blitzing trips in the entire game. So that's pretty much it uh, in terms of how I defend you know trips, bunch, bunch strong, um, if we get into the double stuff, it's a real simple setup for – not simple. It's, it's a real easy way to defend doubles. So a couple things you can do. Honestly, the easiest thing is to call cover on robber. It's why it's at the audibles. It's like if I see doubles, I'll just check in a cover on robber. 
call that. And as you can see, we get the press alignment. And then all we're just going to do here is we're just going to outside third, both outside guys. And we'll just send it like this. I think this is the, a real simple defense for spread. And I think it does pretty good, honestly. Um, those press outside thirds are really good. They're going to stop corners. They're going to stop pretty much anything to the outside. So everything is funneled back to your user. Um, another really good defense, if you wanted to do it out of spinner, would be, you know, basically we would outside third both of these guys here. On the right side, we'd probably, you know, honestly, just this right here is perfectly fine. Uh, and then you could just have a hook curl right here. You're just going to use with the running back. This is a very, although it's a very simple defense, is a very effective defense, and it will get you a lot of stops against this stuff. So that's pretty much it for the Spinner eBook. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get my full uh, version of these offensive and defensive eBooks, they're available in our school.com community. School.com slash Cody Bauer. Link is going to be down in the description below.